In this Comet tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the brand new Comet browser by Perplexity and unlock some absolutely insane use cases that can completely change the way you work online. Now, Comet isn't just another browser, it's your personal AI assistant. Instead of only searching, it actually does the work for you. Whether it's navigating software, managing your digital life, or finding answers instantly, Comet makes everything faster and smarter than ever before. Make sure you watch this video till the end, because the last use case of Comet, which is my personal favorite, will surely blow your mind. Let's start by downloading the Comet browser. Just click the first link in the description and it will take you to the official download page. Click Download Comet, sign in with your Gmail, and you're ready to go. Also, if you're a student with a valid email, you can get Perplexity Pro for free, which unlocks extra features inside Comet. I've added the special student access Comet link in the description, and I've also explained the entire student process in a previous video, which I'll link there as well. Once you have access, click Download Comet. After the file downloads, open it and click Start Install. Wait for the installation to finish, then select Launch Comet. When the browser opens, click Get Started. You can choose to import bookmarks or profiles from Chrome or other browsers, or skip this step by clicking Do This Later. Next, create a username and select a planet-themed profile and click Continue. You'll see a few setup options. Adjust these settings as you like and click Start Comet. When you first open the Comet browser, you'll see an interface that looks a lot like the Perplexity website, but this is actually the new tab for Comet. Right in the center, you've got the search bar. And just like on Perplexity, you'll see options like Search, Research, Labs, and Study. On the left, there's a Set Sources menu where you can pick different sources. You can also switch between models, attached files, or even use the dictation feature. Below that, you'll notice shortcuts. These save time so you don't have to type full prompts every time. You can even create your own custom ones. Then we've got widgets, like a clock, the assistant panel, the heart of Comet, and even a stock tracker. By default, it's set to Apple. But let's say you want to track Microsoft. Just hit the three dots, go to Settings, type Microsoft, select it, and click Done. Now it updates instantly. Pretty cool, right? You'll also find location and weather, a feed of your recently visited websites, and at the bottom, the assistant panel. This is where you'll see all the different use cases of Comet. Things like email, calendar, browser shortcuts, and search prompts. We'll dive deeper into these in a moment. Comet also gives you quick mini tutorials right inside the browser, plus an edit widgets option so you can add more. Want sticky notes, extra shortcuts, or even little games for break time? You can add all of that. On the left sidebar, you've got your history, discover, and spaces tabs. And here's one of my favorite parts. You don't have to start from scratch. Comet lets you import your profiles from other browsers, and since it's built on Chromium, the same framework as Chrome, you can install all your favorite Chrome extensions too. At the top is your address bar. Let's try searching for iPhone 17. Unlike Chrome, when you search with perplexity, you'll first see a list of websites and then the AI-generated response. If you want the classic Google results, just click Search Google, and boom, you've got Google results right inside Comet. So yeah, you're literally getting the best of both worlds, perplexity plus Google in one browser. That's the basic overview of Comet's interface. Now let's jump into the real use cases, and this is where things get really exciting. The first and most important use case of Comet is its ability to summarize any web page you are on. For example, right now I'm on the New York Times website. Normally, to get the key news, you'd have to scroll through multiple sections, read long articles, and spend a lot of time searching for the information you need. But with Comet, you don't have to do that. There is a simple summarize button and when you click it, Comet instantly gives you the main points of the page. For this page, it highlighted global, U.S., and top international news. It even shows the top headlines, such as political deadlocks in the U.S. government, analysis of Democratic and Republican strategies, and important health topics, like rising cancer rates in young people and autism spectrum debates. Instead of going through the entire website, you get a complete summary in just one click. This summarization feature doesn't just work for news websites. It works for any website you visit. You can also ask follow-up questions to dive deeper into specific topics without getting lost in long pages. The feature works for videos too. For instance, if you're watching a Joe Rogan podcast and want to know who the guest is or get a summary of the episode, you can simply click Summarize this video. Comet will go through the transcript and other available information to give you a clear summary, including the guest's background, episode length, and the main topics discussed, such as politics, social media influence, and cultural changes. This allows you to save hours of watching content while still getting all the key points. This summarization feature is also extremely useful for PDFs. For example, if you were reading a research paper titled The Effective Increased Renewable Generation on Operation of Thermal Power Plants and come across a diagram with countries highlighted but don't know all of them, you can simply ask the assistant to list the countries involved. 
Comet will scan the entire PDF and provide a complete list of the countries, such as Switzerland, Germany, Poland, Czech Republic, and Austria. You can continue asking follow-up questions to get more details about these countries or the study itself. This feature is a game-changer, as it not only saves you a tremendous amount of time, but also makes you far more productive, whether you're browsing websites, watching videos, or reading research papers. Another powerful use case of Comet is its ability to identify objects and places from images directly on any website or video. For example, let's say I'm on YouTube searching for iShowSpeed. As I scroll through the results, I notice a thumbnail with a robot, and I want to know what it is. With Comet, I can simply click on the Assistant, select the Screenshot option, and capture the robot from the thumbnail. Once the screenshot is uploaded, I can ask, what is this? And Comet instantly analyzes the image. It identifies the robot as a humanoid figure with a smooth, featureless face and illuminated outlines on the sides of its head, closely resembling the popular AI figure known as Figure 01. Comet even provides additional information about it, and I can continue asking follow-up questions to learn more. This feature doesn't just work for objects, it also works for locations. For instance, if I want to know where a certain place in a thumbnail is, I can take a screenshot of that image, ask, what is this place, and Comet will analyze it. In this example, it identifies the location as Mount Rushmore National Memorial in South Dakota, USA, describing the famous carved faces of U.S. presidents. This makes it easy to quickly learn about any object or place without leaving the website or video you're watching. Another impressive use case is finding and applying coupon codes when making purchases online. For example, let's say I'm on a website called Submagic, which provides video captioning tools, and I want to buy a paid plan. On the checkout page, there's an option to enter a promotion code. I can simply open the Comet Assistant in a new tab and ask it to find me a discount code and apply it. Comet then takes control of the tab, searches for the web, for available coupons, and automatically applies the best one for me. In this case, it found the code RAMBO50 and applied a 10% discount for an entire year. You can even pause Comet at any time, and it will resume applying codes when you're ready. If you want, you can let it search for the best possible coupon across multiple websites, saving money without manually hunting for codes. This feature makes online shopping faster, more efficient, and smarter. Another impressive use case of Comet is its ability to purchase products for you on e-commerce websites. For example, let's say I'm on Amazon and want to add a Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra to my cart. I simply open the Comet Assistant and give it a prompt, saying, Add Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra to my cart. Once I hit Enter, Comet takes control of the tab, searches for the product, and navigates through the pages to find the exact variant, in this case the 512GB model, priced around $1,300. It then clicks the Add to Cart button and confirms that the task has been completed successfully. Even though I'm not logged into my account right now, if I were, Comet could have taken me all the way to the payment page, leaving only the payment details for me to complete. This feature works on any e-commerce site, whether it's Amazon, grocery stores, or other product websites. You can simply give a prompt listing all the items you want to purchase or add to your cart, and Comet will automatically search for them and add them to your cart. It's a powerful and time-saving feature, making online shopping faster and far more efficient. Another powerful use case of Comet is its ability to compare products across different websites. For example, let's say I have the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra open in one tab on Amazon and the Apple iPhone 15 open in another tab. If I want to know which phone is better for me, I can simply open a new tab and use the Comet Assistant to compare them. By selecting the tabs I want to compare, I can give the prompt, compare these two products, and Comet instantly analyzes both pages. Within moments, it provides a detailed comparison in a table format, showing all the important features side by side. In addition to the technical specifications, Comet also highlights key points to consider beyond the features, making it easier to decide which phone suits your needs best. This feature saves you from manually going through multiple tabs and allows you to make informed decisions quickly, all with just a few clicks. Another great use case with Comet is its ability to plan travel, whether you're looking for flights, bus tickets, or train tickets. For example, I can give Comet a prompt like, take control of the browser and find the best round-trip tickets for a week vacation to the Maldives from London. Once I hit enter, Comet starts acting on the prompt, searching for the best flights. It automatically opens the Skyscanner website, enters the departure location and dates correctly, and searches for the cheapest and most convenient options available. As it works, you can even see the steps it's taking on the side, and if anything goes wrong, you can pause the assistant at any time. In just a few moments, Comet completes the task and presents the results, showing all the flight details in a clear table format. It even highlights the cheapest option, the most convenient option, and the fastest option. This makes travel planning effortless, as Comet handles all the research and comparison for you, saving you from manually going through multiple websites to find the best tickets. Now let's look at the next travel-related use case, 
Suppose you're visiting a place for the first time and want to plan something with very specific custom requirements. All you need to do is mention your requirements and Comet will instantly create the perfect travel plan for you. For example, here I asked Comet to take control of the browser and plan a scenic road trip from Paris to Barcelona with three stops. As soon as I hit enter, Comet expanded my prompt for more details and began working in a new tab. On the left side, you can see how it takes control of the browser by entering Paris as the starting point and Barcelona as the final destination, while on the right, it shows each action step by step. It then started adding scenic stops along the route. The first stop it suggested was Lyon, a historic French city known for its architecture and cuisine. Next, it added Avignon, famous for the Papal Palace and its iconic bridge. For the third stop, Comet chose Narbonne, a beautiful coastal city with Roman ruins close to the Mediterranean. Initially, Narbonne was listed as the last destination, but Comet quickly noticed the order was incorrect and reordered the trip to Paris, Lyon, Avignon, Narbonne, Barcelona. After refreshing, it re-entered all the locations one by one, displayed the route on Google Maps, and generated a complete travel summary. The journey is around 1146 kilometers and takes roughly 12 hours of driving, and along with the map, Comet also provided highlights of each stop, attractions to explore, and additional trip details. So in just a few clicks, you can have a complete scenic travel plan tailored to your custom requirements. Now let's move on to the next use case. Imagine you're on a website and you need to find and download a specific file, but the site is cluttered with multiple sections and categories that make it hard to locate quickly. For example, here I'm on the Impact website and I need to download the W9 tax form. Instead of manually browsing through every section, I simply open the Comet Assistant and type a prompt saying, find W9 form and download it for me. As soon as I hit enter, Comet takes control of the browser, navigates through the website, and automatically checks the help center where tax forms are usually found. It then searches for the W-9 form, clicks on the correct result, and opens the official PDF file directly in a new tab. On the right side, it even provides a summary along with a direct download link so I can save the file with a single click. This way, instead of wasting time searching through pages manually, Comet instantly finds the exact document I need, making the whole process much faster and easier. Now, let's look at another really simple but super useful case. As you can see, I have a lot of tabs open in my Comet browser right now, and instead of manually managing them one by one, I can simply ask Comet to summarize all my tabs. With just a single prompt, it goes through every open tab and organizes them by topic and recency, like Google Maps, shopping and tech products, content creation, entertainment, flight bookings, and more. This instantly gives me a clear overview of what I have open. But it doesn't stop there. I can also tell Comet to group all the similar tabs together, and it will neatly organize them into categories like shopping, entertainment, PDFs, and travel. If I change my mind, I can just say undo grouping, and it reverts back. I can even clean up my workspace by asking it to close inactive or unnecessary tabs, and it will automatically remove the ones I don't need, leaving me with a much cleaner browser. For example, I can even say close all tabs except this one, and in seconds, I'm left with only the current tab open. This makes managing multiple tabs effortless and saves me a ton of time while keeping my workspace clutter-free. The next use case is something that will save you a huge amount of time, automatically filling out forms. Most of the time, forms are long, repetitive, and require the same details again and again, which can be frustrating, but with Comet, you can let the assistant handle it for you. For example, I have a form open here, along with a resume, which is just a sample resume I downloaded from Canva. All I need to do is click on the assistant, use the Attach File option, and upload my resume PDF. Once that's done, I simply give it a prompt like, fill out this form for me. And instantly, Comet starts reading the data from my uploaded resume, takes control of the form, and begins filling in all the details automatically. You can actually see how quickly it inputs everything that would normally take a lot of time to type manually. For any details it can't find in the resume, I can just add them manually at the end. But if your resume or document has all the necessary information, Comet will fill the form for you in seconds. In this demo, the form doesn't have a submit button since it's only for demonstration purposes, but in a real scenario, you'd simply review the filled form and hit submit. This makes form filling effortless and saves you from the repetitive work of entering the same details over and over again. Now coming to the next use case, Comet can actually assist you with different tasks directly inside Google Sheets or Google Docs. For example, here I'm inside a spreadsheet and I want to generate 10-digit random numbers. Instead of manually figuring it out, I can simply ask the assistant, give me the formula to generate a 10-digit random number. The moment I hit enter, Comet instantly provides the exact formula I need. I just copy it, paste it into a cell, press enter, and a random number is generated. Then, by dragging down the formula, I can instantly create 10 random numbers without breaking a sweat. Let's say I now want to group these digits into sets of three numbers. Again, all I need to do is ask Comet for the formula, and within seconds, it generates the correct one for me. I can then apply it to my sheet and get the desired result right away. 
Moving on to Google Docs, let's say I have a rough paragraph filled with spelling mistakes, missing punctuation, and some wrong words. This often happens when a transcript is generated by AI. Instead of manually correcting it, I can simply prompt Comet with, proofread this paragraph and rewrite it in proper format. Within moments, the assistant analyzes the content, fixes all the spelling and grammar mistakes, adds proper punctuation, and even replaces the original text with the corrected one. On top of that, it shows the changes it made, so I can quickly review them. If I notice something that needs further tweaking, like replacing a word, it's as simple as instructing comment, and it instantly updates the text. This makes editing and proofreading inside Google Docs effortless and saves a lot of time. Now moving on to the next use case, which is connecting multiple apps directly with your Comet browser. This means you can connect your Gmail, Calendar, or other tools and then control or summarize them right from Comet itself. For example, I've connected my Gmail account, and if I simply ask Comet to summarize all of my events for this week and make a quick agenda, it will instantly scan my calendar and return a clean summary of everything I need to know. In this case, it shows me that I have a seminar scheduled along with other events. Not only can Comet summarize, but I can also ask it to make changes, edit an event, or even delete it directly. Similarly, you can connect your Gmail account. When you try this feature for the first time, Comet will prompt you to connect your Gmail account. After that, it can handle tasks like summarizing emails, finding specific ones, and even responding to them. For example, I asked it to show me the latest email I received from GitHub, and within seconds, Comet scanned my inbox and pulled up the most recent one. From there, I can ask Comet to generate a response, unsubscribe from mailing lists, or even delete emails on my behalf. So instead of wasting time digging through calendars or inboxes, Comet helps you stay on top of things and manage them seamlessly, all without leaving the browser. So now let me show you my favorite use case inside Comet, which is the voice assistant. I'll just click on the voice assistant mode, and as you can see, it's waking up. Hi, how are you today? Hi there, I'm doing great, thanks for asking. How about you? I'm good too. Can you tell me the latest news by Perplexity's Comet browser today? Perplexity just made its Comet AI browser available for free worldwide. It was previously only, only for paid, for paid subscribers, subscribers, and now and anyone can use it, with a mobile version coming soon and a new, new background, background assistance feature, feature for Max users. users. That's pretty cool. Let me try something else. Can you take me to the Joe Rogan podcast where he tries the Mad Honey? And just like that, it takes me directly to the exact video I asked for. If I wanted to jump to a particular point in that video, I could just ask the assistant to go to that specific timestamp and it would do it instantly. Let's try one more. Can you take me to the famous video of Steve Jobs where he talks about connecting the dots? Boom, it instantly pulls up his 2005 Stanford commencement address, the legendary speech where Steve Jobs talks about connecting the dots. That's pretty impressive. And the best part is I can keep chatting with the assistant naturally and it keeps doing exactly what I ask. If I want to mute or unmute it, I can do that too. This makes the whole browsing experience so smooth. I don't even have to type or search manually anymore. I just ask and the assistant handles everything. It saves me so much time and makes me way more productive. These were just a few examples of what Comet's Assistant can do, but trust me, the use cases are endless. People are using it in all sorts of creative ways to automate their work and speed up their tasks. If you want to see more, just check out Comet's page on X where users share how they're using it. Comet really feels like the future of browsing. It automates so many tasks, boosts productivity, and this is just the beginning. It's only going to get better from here. So if you haven't downloaded Comet yet, make sure you grab it using the link in the description. And if you're a student, don't forget to check the special student access link with which you can also claim your free Perplexity Pro subscription along with Comet. That's all for today's video. If you found this helpful, leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.